table. You know, you talk about your titanium spine and the and the political will. The reality is, I, I when I watch the debates, and I'm one that spends a lot of time in advocacy. You, you did a you did a, you had a Supreme Court performance in these first two debates. I mean, it was very clear that you had a tremendous not only command of the knowledge, but just your capability of delivering the message clearly. When you're traveling, I know you're in South Carolina now. You're obviously in Iowa. You're up in New Hampshire. Are you hearing different things in these states? Is there different concerns? Is it all focusing on the economy right now? No, I would say it's a unified message. It really is about jobs and the economy. That doesn't mean that people haven't forgotten about the issue of protecting life and marriage and the sanctity of the family. People are very concerned about that as well. But what people recognize is that there's a fear that the United States is in an unstoppable decline. They see the rise of China, the rise of India, the rise of uh, the Soviet Union, and, and our loss militarily going forward. And especially with this very bad debt ceiling bill, what we have done is given a favor to President Obama, and the first thing he'll whack is $500 billion out of military defense at a time when we're fighting three wars. People, people recognize that. We have to give people a lot more attention uh, uh, or a lot more praise for following what's going on in Washington, D.C. than what we think. They really are paying attention, You're and they're right. very you... disappointed in President Obama. They want someone to be their champion and someone that they can trust to fight for them. 